All right, guys, uh, here I am, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, just uh, checked in a few hours ago, uh, just had a shower, just rested a few, a little bit. Um, uh, where's my hotel? Here. Hang on a sec, I gotta I'll show you what how I'm standing at the Oscar Hotel Saigon. It's okay, it's uh, a little run down, a little dated, but apparently it's a, a fancy hotel around here. So. Give you a quick show you what it looks like on the outside and then I got a little story for you about being scammed by a fucking taxi as soon as I got here. Okay, so that's the Oscar Hotel, that's where I'm staying. So, flight from uh, Manila to Ho Chi Minh, uneventful. Uh, Got some food on the airplane, which is kind of good. Uh, got to Ho Chi Minh City, everything was smooth. No. Immigration was smooth, everything was great. Grabbed my luggage. No wait for the luggage. Get uh, outside. Well, before that, I exchanged some money, but unfortunately, some they have exchange booths there, and some of them uh, don't don't exchange uh, Philippine peso. So there's about four or five exchange booths, so I went to each one and one said they'll take Philippine peso, but not the small bills, just the really large ones, like the thousand, thousand pesos. So got to exchange a little bit and then I got to uh, ATM, took a bunch of money out. All that went smoothly, got a SIM card, that went smoothly, easy peasy, there's lots of them uh, uh, when you um, come out of the sort of the luggage area, there's a whole bunch of booths set up, you just pick one. And, uh, it was like 200 and 280,000 Viet Dong. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. I'll have to do the conversion. And then um, that gives me 20 days, 5G, and local calling. No, no international calling, but uh, lots of data. So that's okay. So got all that set up, and then I went outside and got a taxi, and then. Uh, young fellow in a white shirt, a bunch of people, I guess they work for the uh, airport. He um, said, you need a taxi? He said, sure do. And so he took out his calculator out and said, it's 850,000 Viet Dong. I thought, what? I, I, I unfortunately didn't do the any of the conversions, so I, I should have done my homework. So I didn't uh, <coughs> see how much it was going to cost, like uh, Canadian dollars, so... Um, uh, red sort of little uh, van pull up nice looking van loaded my luggage got in and the driver said that's 850 so I was like are you sure is that too much and he said uh, no and then uh, I get in there's an older fellow who spoke a bit of English I get in and then uh, give him a million via dong and then he drives in a sort of he drives in a, in a circle around the the sort of the entrance way of the airport that terminal is on like a hundred foot radius tiny he stops says oh I need a I need another 150 for uh, tolls and a toll booth and parking fees and I'm like, what he goes I'll take it out of the million because you gave me 850 I'll take 150 out of that I'll give you the change back I'm like okay I guess I don't know and then uh, he drives up just before where he picked me up. He does a complete circle. He jumps out, some young fucking guy gets in. I go, what the fuck's going on? He gets in, starts driving. And I'm like, he goes, I'll take you to your hotel. I'm like, what the fuck happened to that guy? What happened to the old guy? And so I'm starting to think I'm being scammed here. I'm something, this is something, something ain't right. So I quickly tried to do a conversion, uh, Google conversion while we're driving. And I said, dude, my conversion, says you know 850 dong is 850 thousand dong is way too much for a taxi it should be about 250 average maybe 300 because i'm in a fancy van and he didn't speak only she called somebody some guy in the other line tried to tell me that you know i don't he thought i i had to pay more and i said no i'm not paying more and it just ended up being a fucking gong show so i got to the hotel took pictures of the taxi, the license plate, the driver, everything I could to document. And then I uh, talked to the front desk lady 
And she said, no, 250, 300,000 dong is what you should pay, not 850. And the uh, doorman sort of porter um, also said, yeah, I paid way too much. So I said, okay, I want to report it to the police. So she starts taking my information. I said, I'm going to go out to my room and uh, you know, just uh, have a shower and then uh, I'll come back down. So got back down and she said she had called the police, explained everything to the police, what I told her. And the police said for fraud in Vietnam, the threshold, the minimum is 200, oh, it's 2 million. So if you've, defraud, you've been defrauded, two million or more, then you have a, a criminal case and uh, the police will investigate. But since this was only 850,000 and I'm out about 500,000 dong, which isn't a whole lot, I just, it's just the fact, the principle that I got scammed and it really pisses me off. So the police won't do anything because I, I didn't lose enough money, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna post pictures of, uh, or post, yeah, pictures of the, License plate, the dude, the young guy that jumped in, everything I can on my video. So, if any of you guys happen to come here, you'll be much more savvy than me and much more aware and not get scammed by these fucking assholes. So, I've also got pictures of the two taxis that are nationally, or at least in Ho Chi Minh City, that are known, famous, and they're legit. The, the front desk girl told me which ones to to uh, look out for, like to, to book. So, uh, yeah. So I'll post those on my uh, video as well. So I hate, I hate being scammed. I'm really, really savvy about traveling and I'm really good at not getting scammed. And this is, this is one, you know, it's been years since I've been burned. You know, Thailand years ago, I got scammed by a guy, taxi guy from the airport. So anyway, so that's it. That's my story. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. My first fucking experience and a loser. Fucking scammers. Well, I just want to go back to the airport and fucking throttle that guy. Anyway, I've been advised not to by, by the hotel staff or I end up in a Vietnamese jail. So live and learn, man. Live and learn. So anyway, I'll do this video. I'll post the uh, information, the pictures, so the rest of you guys out there will not get scammed. Uh, my best advice when you go to the airport, when you're at the airport, you're looking for a taxi, get a metered taxi or look for one of their pictures I'll post on the two taxis. They're metered and legit. And like I'm right downtown, uh, center of town in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, and it should cost 250, 300,000 from the airport. That's about it, not 850,000. So, anyway, I gotta get some food. I'm starving. I try and turn this uh, day around into something a little more positive. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, live and learn, I guess. If I can uh, save one of you guys from getting scammed, then it's worth, uh, it's worth it. So anyway, chat with you guys later and uh, see what else we're going to do tonight from uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Peace out.